This is Trigger. I've done quite a few videos of him. And recently I've done some videos of some horses that needed some maintenance. And he needed something that was a little bit more involved than maintenance. He actually needed to have a little minor procedure done. Uh, kind of thing that could have become serious if we didn't take care of it and address it uh, at when we saw it. He, I'll put a little clip here so you can see. I just, I, this was the first time that he did uh, this thing with his back leg. I didn't feel it when he did it in the video clip there, but I saw it when I was editing the video. And uh, he's done quite a few videos. I've done quite a few videos with him, and that was the first time I saw it on a video. So it's totally brand new, something new that he just started. And when he did it once, the first time I thought, well, maybe he just had a stinger somewhere when he stopped on the cow, which sometimes that happens it's not that unusual and what made me think that was that because he walked right out of it really easy after about three steps it was like nothing ever happened so i made a mental note to watch for it and make sure that i felt um felt for it see if he did it again and about a week later i was giving his owner a lesson and he did it again same leg kind of the same situation right after tracking a cow with the cow on the right and we asked him to stop and then he gave to that right stifle again to that right leg. So we went on and had the vet come out and take a look at him. And basically this joint right here, this is the stifle and the, the patella, basically the same thing as the kneecap right in front is the part of the stifle that lets the horse sleep standing up. It locks that joint. And there's, uh, I'm not a vet, so I'm gonna use some, a lot of layman's terms. There's basically uh, three tendons that hold that kneecap in place. And that's what allows that the stifle to either lock so they can sleep standing up or loosen so they can move and, and work and walk. And uh, what was happening, one of the three tendons that holds that kneecap in place was longer than what it should have been. It's a pretty common situation. Uh, I'll put a link here to an article that, that talks about that situation. Um, it, it's, it's not uncommon, but it, it's the kind of thing you need to take care of it. Cause it, it can, it doesn't start out as painful, but it can become painful. And basically what happens is as they're walking, the leg locks and uh, they can't bend it. And the kneecap comes out of place and it doesn't really hurt, but it, it's not comfortable. And uh, so we had to take him and have a procedure done to, to fix that situation. And basically what they did is they went into that tendon that was basically the, the, there's, the kneecap is here and there's three tendons that hold it in place. One of those three tendons was stretched. It was too long, too big. And that was letting that kneecap fall out of place. So what they did is they went in, um, the vet did, and basically scarred that tendon so that it would tighten up and that gets it back like it needs to be to hold the kneecap in place. And it's, the, it's basically fixed. The recovery of the procedure is go back into training just like normal. It's important that he goes back into training because we don't want that tendon to tighten too much and it be tighter than the other, three, the other two. So we're back riding him like normal and uh, back um, back in training just like normal. This is uh, a, the Mustang trigger that uh, I've been training for a working cow horse. He's actually doing really good. And uh, so we got that taken care of. That was a little bit more than, than maintenance, but it was an, actually a pretty minor procedure. But uh, it's something that not everybody runs across and uh, thought I'd point it out. And uh, so you'd be aware of it. That's a situation that's um, as long as you take care of it, it's not that big of a deal. So I'll, uh, I'll put a link up here to some of the other videos that I've done with him. And until next time, thank you for watching. Let's pull off and stop. Good boy. Good boy. Give him a little break, let him catch his air. Then we're going to go back again.